Hi guys, Merry Christmas or Happy Holidays to those of you who do not celebrate Christmas. I'm going to be looking at how your person currently thinks and feels when it comes to you, when it comes to a particular situation going on right now between the two of you, okay, Cancer? This reading is good for anyone that has cancer in their chart or even if you don't have cancer in your chart but you were drawn to this reading because of the title, because of the timing, something was very conspicuous to you about this upload. You were maybe guided here or this video found you because there's something in this reading that the cards want to tell you when it comes to this person, okay, or particularly this situation. I have no idea what it's going to be. I have no idea what I'm going to see, but please don't shoot the messenger. I'm going to read it exactly as it comes out from this person's point of view, from their perspective. But if you need me for a personal reading, I am available. My email is in the description box below this video. You can take advantage of the lover special that I have currently available. If you want to take advantage of that, go ahead. All right, so for whoever it is I'm speaking to right now, you may have Taurus in your chart, or you may be dealing with a Taurus, maybe dealing with a Taurus soon. So there's maybe a Taurus, Cancer, or Pisces in your life, or was. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius as well. Lots of signs here. And now I'm even seeing some Aries. Okay, Gemini. Okay, how does this person currently think and feel right now? How do they currently see the situation? What's going on here? Okay. Everything happens so fast. This person doesn't know what to say, how to respond, how to reach out to you. They want to they want to say something, but someone here may have ghosted. Okay. A message I'm getting right now, the energy that I'm getting from your person right now is they don't know what to say. They're holding off on responding, on reaching out, because they really want to think this through. Your person is really in their head about this. They've, actually, they've also withdrawn. They're very withdrawn at this time. They recently found out something or you shared something with them. Where they saw something, they found out about something. They're still thinking about what you said. This came in as a message, okay? This is very specific. This came in as a message. It could be a letter. This could be an email. This could be a text. This could be literally a DM, but... Something here was put in writing or on text, okay? This was not said in person. For some of you, it could have been, but I'm really getting specifically here. This was a message sent or a message delivered, a message received. Now, they have been just really distraught by this whole message about what you said to them. It really put them in their heads. This person sees you as the one. I 
This person sees you as the one and also the one that got away. Okay, they feel like, I don't know, they feel slightly guilty for losing you, for you walking away or for the reason why you're not with them right now, maybe with someone else. This could go the other way around, but I am getting, there's a third party situation here right now, or they're fearing that if they were to let you go, that, you know, that they would just forever regret this. They are in a state of regret right now. They don't want to lose you to someone but they also feel like they there's nothing else they can do about this situation. They're really in their heads about this right now thinking you could be dealing with a Virgo, a Gemini, Aries, Leo, Sag, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Pisces, Aries. This person really wants you. They want you. But they feel like they have to let you go. They feel like they're, con they're convinced that they can't be with you. They can't be with you right now for whatever reason. Maybe you wanted a family. And they weren't ready to give you that. They want You wanted a child with this person. You wanted a commitment. You wanted the white picket fence. You wanted, you know, a more, you know, you wanted maybe something more stable, something more calm, something more traditional. They weren't able to give it. They weren't ready for whatever reason. Maybe it's because of their work. Maybe they just weren't ready to start a family. I don't know. You guys, um... It could be for whatever it is, but I feel like this reading is very specific. Somebody here wanted to settle down, but the other person wasn't. It's not that they didn't want to be with you. They want to be with you more than anything. They see you as their forever person. Okay, but something here they feel like they must do or they have to do for now. This person is making um, a head over heart decision right now. They don't want to let you go. They understand that they might actually lose you forever because of this decision that they're making. They know it's unfair for them to require you to wait, just to wait around for them. This could be a third party situation. Maybe because this person's married or is currently in a commitment with something or someone else. But this person wants you. They received a message from you. Maybe there was something here about pregnancy. Um, somewhat, I'm getting here this, you may have told this person, like, I want us to try, I want to do this. The ball was in their court, the ball is possibly in their court right now, and you're like, look, I'm not going to wait around forever for you, that's just not my style, you know, um, I'm, look, if this is your decision, that's fine, that's cool, I'll be okay, but you are who I want, so I want to fight for this. I want to make sure this is... I'm really getting someone here is even crying. Okay. You or them. Like, I feel like both of you guys really want to be with each other. This is a very emotional reading, man. <laughs> what are you guys giving me, Cancer? Or whoever it is I'm talking to. You guys may have been together before. Okay. Um, I'm getting here soulmates, star-crossed lovers, like two people who are meant to be together, who make perfect sense. They just are so happy with each other. It just, it's, it's, you know, they are a good fit. They feel like you are the one.
but now that you're maybe choosing to be with someone else or maybe because of someone else being in the picture on their side, the two of you cannot be together. It could be the time. It could be the distance. It could be for whatever reason here. It could be school. It could be uh, work. Someone feels imprisoned to this. So they feel like they have to let this go, like there's no other way for it to work right now. This person is going to an Aries, a Leo, a Sagittarius male or a female at this time for comfort. I'm getting here someone's on the rebound. It doesn't necessarily have to be a fire sign, but I am getting here. It could be any sign. Um, someone here is choosing to go towards a rebound. They may even start something very quickly just to get their mind off of you. So if you see them like just jumping into a relationship or in a relationship already, I'm getting here. This person is doing it just to get their mind off of you. Or you guys are kind of both like... I'm really getting these two. I'm really picking up like a lot of sadness here from your person. Okay. They see you as someone here with plenty of options. They see you here as someone who, you know, is, is very attractive to the opposite sex or maybe same sex, doesn't matter. You're just very attractive. You have a lot of things going for you. You have the looks, the way you carry yourself. I'm even hearing your laugh, your giggle, your personality, the way you glow up, you're playful, you're fun. But you also have this, um, I'm kind of getting like a baddie, like you kind of also have this, um, like, don't mess with me attitude, you know, you're also someone who... You're not anyone's doormat. Like you don't play games, you know. You know how to also put them in their place. You may get, they get a little intimidated by you. This person may actually be someone highly respectable, highly respected by their friends, by their peers, by those around them. They may even have a very high position. Okay, they, this person could be an entrepreneur, could be self-employed, could be a boss, could be someone who just, um, I'm kind of getting like a very alpha male or female, you know, very like sigma type, but, you know, is that that calm, quiet, silent type. They have that very like, don't mess with me attitude, but when it comes to you, they feel like you're a match here with the Queen of Wands and the Emperor. Like, you're not someone that they can boss around, that they can control or tell what to do. They like that about you, but then they equally get intimidated and a little bit rocked by that. It's something that they like, they don't want to admit. They feel like you're someone that's going to be hard to replace because you speak your mind. You're very attractive. You know what you want. You go after it. Both of you guys have this, like, boldness to you, okay? And also, they, they know, you guys both know how, you know, they, how do I say this? Um, you know how to push their buttons, or you know they have, like, this weakness to you. They have a soft spot for you. They let you get away with a lot of things they don't typically let others get away with, okay? When it comes to people that they date, they just have this level of patience for you. But I'm also kind of getting here like this person, I don't know, it's like, the, you know, it's like, I don't know, I'm, I'm just going to say, I told you I'm going to read it from their point of view, from their perspective, but it's like, Man, this person gets under my skin. You know, this person pisses me off, annoys the shit out of me, but I don't know what the hell about this person. You know, this is them making, realizing they have love for you. You know, when you're becoming 
more tolerant when you're the things that typically annoy you or piss you off or frustrate you. You are finding yourself being extra patient, you know, um, or not as responsive. That's when they're like, they realize they, they feel something here for you. That they don't typically feel for just anyone. Okay. I'm kind of getting here like, yeah, like there's something here that this person feels towards you. Like, I don't want to say the wrong thing to you. You know, I don't want this to blow up my face. They feel like if they said the wrong things that you'll just get mad. And that because you're someone who speaks your mind. Okay. And they really like that. But they also don't know how to get something through to you right now. They don't want to stir the pot. They don't want to piss you off. They don't want to, you know, create further animosity here. So this person is choosing to leave the situation for now. But I get that this person really wants to be with you. Maybe you guys are staying friends friends with benefits, or maybe this was a casual situation, maybe there was a commitment, this person is holding on to you, they know that this person, they're going to be with you, they're scared they're going to lose you to someone if they don't take action now, but for whatever reason, they're choosing to let you go, or they did in the recent or distant past, but they have every intention on getting you back. I feel like this person here with the Wheel of Fortune, Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, and the Chariot. Yeah, definitely in this reading is telling me here, okay, they're coming back. It's almost like they're walking away, making you believe, letting you believe that it's done, okay? It's like almost like they have to say this, but deep inside in their heart space, it's like, I'm coming back for you. But if I have to say whatever it is I have to say to you right now to make you let me go, it's like it kills them. I don't know. I don't know what's coming. I don't know how this might make any sense to you guys, but this is them like, I'm going to let you think that I'm letting you go, that we're done, we're finished, that we'll never be again. But it's only so that it's like I'm, I'm getting here someone is faking a breakup, okay? Or it does look like a breakup. I mean, I don't think there's anything fake about this breakup or separation. I feel like it may have already happened or it's happening right now. But this person knows that they're coming back for you. This person knows, like, they are going to come and chase you. They are going to do everything. Nothing is going to get in their way. They will fight a bear if they have to to get to you. They will fight your person. They will climb mountains. They will move mountains. They will you do anything to get you back. But right now they're coming, they're, they're like almost coming across as, yeah, this is it. Like we have to, it's almost like they're doing this to, so that you can heal or like, you know, so they can take care of whatever it is that they're dealing with right now. Cause they can't show up in the best version of themselves, the version that they want to present to you or how they want to carry this situation forward there's something here that they must attend to whether that be work or you know just to get their money right to get their foundation right get their stability or to get their you know spiritual healing their wellness their well-being their health mental health emotional health spiritual health there's something here this person feels like they have to take care of and also they have to leave you, let you go for now. Leave us, walk away from this situation here. But it kills them right now because I'm not going to say like this person right now feels like, oh my God, like 
they just, you know, they feel like they can't stand the idea of you being with somebody else or with who you are with right now either. Or who they can't, they, they don't want to be with the person they're with. Because they see you as their forever person. You are the one. But there is, you know, somebody in this picture right now. They received a message here to go to leave. This could also be, um, I don't know, deployment for somebody. I don't know. I, I just I kind of get it could be anything I'm getting here. It's a, it's a letter. It's a message. Someone got something and this completely changed the whole entire situation or this just. Um, <clears throat> this is what I have for you guys right now, but this person is really holding on to you. OK, they're not letting you go. They're not expressing how they truly feel. Um, what they really want. They're keeping this from everybody else, from the hidden eye, from the public. They're not, this is like their secret stash. You know, they, they plan to have this future with you. And, you know, they want to... There's something they want to share with you. They want to have with you. There's a secret. They, there's something they stashed away. And this is so that you guys can be together. I'm also kind of getting here. They may have a separate bank account. They have some, they've been saving for this. All right, guys. If you need a personal reading, reach out. Um, I hope this may to somebody here this is what came out in the reading here today um yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this i hope to help thank you guys for your time i'll see you guys later bye or i'll see you in your personal reading or in the next one bye